My name is Scott, formerly known as Super Nintendo SP, and welcome to my game room. Today, I am playing Jack Nicholas Golf. Yeah. Get your get, get your golf tee on. Maybe grab a good drink. Cause we are in for the long haul. Yep, that's what I like to call myself at times, is Yoshi. <laughs> I mean, you've seen it with Mario Kart 8, he's kind of my alter ego. <laughs> so, the computer professionals I like to play with are Eddie C, who I like to call Uncle Ed, for reasons that I shall not state until he is on the program. The second... <laughs> who doesn't like all of Curly? Nyak, nyak, nyak. And finally, the big man himself, Jack Nicholas. Now, my third player used to be Art M. Well, I've got a little bit more pride in me now, I'll just say. Oh, good. The course conditions are normal. Lights are all fired up. Got my co got my Coca-Cola poured. Don't get into the habit, guys. And we're ready to go. Hey, bombed it right down the fairway. Well, I've already got a little bit of a faux pas. I forgot to bring my Coke from the kitchen. Be right back. If you didn't hear the tune that I was whistling, it's from the Legend of Dark Witch series. Because I had just played a spin-off title on the Switch. I originally recorded it and then I realized e the action the action on the card part of the game isn't really camera worthy. But it's a lot of fun to play. Personally, or at least watch. <laughs> I don't even know why they bothered with the Dark Witch combat. <laughs> There's no real combat involved. It's just a boring reason to include a few enemies for card games. They'd have been better off doing that on mobile rather than the Nintendo Switch. Come on! Should have been a port of Legend of Dark Witch 2 in addition to the Brave Dungeon. Just saying. So it's finally my turn again. I am well aware that the sand wedge is 80 yards. I do believe pitching is 110. 5 at 3 o'clock. I should be set. Oops, overpower. Good accuracy, though. 
That wasn't overpower at all. That was good. Now, I recorded an episode of this with Zach a week ago. Now, six days. And I've yet to put it together. The results were pretty funny. Ooh, that's just about as good a putt as you can get from that, I think. I could be wrong. Nope. The putt. The putter can go up to 80 feet. So, if I just go here, it's in. I know, it was a straight putt. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? What I started to say was, I've picked up a few classics at my local gaming store today. Nagano Winter Olympics 98, which is easily the most underrated Olympics title there is, and I think that Sonic and Mario and Sonic at the Olympics should really take after it. Desert Strike Return to the Gulf which I do believe is Desert Eagle. I really don't remember. ASP Air Strike Patrol. No, I don't think it's an Electronic Arts game. <sighs> what I got is Desert Strike Returns of the Gulf, which if I'm not mistaken is like a helicopter shoot em up with a 3D isometric view it was actually recommended on a Sega Genesis countdown, so that's pretty good. Whee! Don't hit the bunker! Alright! And finally... Well, you're probably gonna start seeing some really old games with me, too. I picked up golf. For NES. <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot of old games. And I'm really going to start using them on camera. Pardon me for dropping the mic. And I've got this. HDMI converter that I can plug my Super Nintendo, NES, etc. into. I've been using my Retrocade for most of my videos right now, but I'm seriously considering replaying the games that I've played on Retrocade and just getting over the upscaling. It's such an accurate upscale that it looks weird. It's not a smooth upscale like this game is on the Retrocade. The Retrocade is clearly recognizing the 16 by 9 aspect ratio and rendering accordingly. Now tell me if I'm a fool with that. If I'm wrong, type the comments Jester Hat under the comment below under the comments below, okay? And be sure to show me proof. Unless you've already played it yourself and you've noticed. I mean, I don't know. I don't know many YouTubers who's who are using the Retrocade. If any. But they should all be using this puppy. Every one of them. You know, I want to see some of your modern YouTubers play some older games. Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be amusing to watch Jacksepticeye play Gradius 3? Not Super Nintendo. <laughs> Pick 
pitching wedge five at four o'clock. Mm, this should do it. All right. I could have used more power, but this will work. Nice shot, Curly. Why, thank you. Nyuk, nyuk, nyuk. Not that he would say nyuk, nyuk, nyuk every time, but, uh, eh, whatever. Uh-oh, too powerful? Oh, I got robbed. Oh, bummer. Seriously, I'm up next? Are you joking? I missed my putt! Well, if Jack gets this in, it's a tie and it's redemption for me. Oh, give me a break. Now, I've recorded a game of this many, many, many times. But none of them seem to come out right at all. And when I was a kid, it was me and my mom. You know, the mom who you saw playing as the Inkling boy in Mario Kart 8. Yeah, that silly mom. Anyway, in this particular game, I had teed off. What happens? She hits my ball as it's on the fairway. What are the chances of that? She should have bought a lottery ticket that day. The chances were that low. I've never seen anybody hit my ball since. It was funny as hell. Damn fair. Uh oh, spaghettios. I haven't I seen that particular uh, ditty lately. What a pity. Now, I've been avoiding drinking my Coca-Cola for a long while. And when I want a really good stream to get going... Stream. As if I do that. Um, a really good recording going, I drink a bunch of Coke. Get myself a little puppy. Or should I say a little perky? <laughs> yeah, wink wink to those who know me best. Now, if I end up getting some kind of celebrity status, that's when I'll reveal my full name. But for now, just call me Scott. Or if you want, Yoshi. I like it when people call me Yoshi. I'll continue to introduce myself as Scott, though. You'll see that. And you've seen that, too. <laughs> so, I, uh, my, the apparatus I'm drinking from, it's 
a small little thing. It's not even that small, actually. It's from. It's clearly from a theme park. Of some sort. It's a pretty nice little thing. Tall. Very tall. If I wanted to lay down and still have my drink, this would be the ticket. I do kind of wish that I had wisdom to pick up a couple of two, a bunch of two liters from BJ's. I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, a little bargain hunting tip: you can save a lot of money by spending a lot at BJ's. Meats and soda, specifically. And right now they have. <coughs> They have Buffalo Wild Wings sauces available for $10 a pack, and they're good sauces at a good size. I love it. Okay here, Yoshi. Maybe that'll do it. Oh! Maybe I should have used the normal amount of power. I should have gone pure halfway. Oh well. Oh, nice attempt, Uncle Ed. Nice attempt. Excuse me. And everybody's blowing their putts this hole. Any one of you played Tiger Woods PGA 2 or 2005? I know that Tiger Woods is a disgraced name these days, but please do not disgrace his video games. They are true works of art. And Tiger Woods PGA 2 or 2005 is still worth playing today. Some would say it's far superior to this game, but I honestly think that they're equal. This game's simulation capabilities push the crap out of the Super Nintendo hardware, I think. Well, we have a three-way tie, I think? I should not have removed my straw. Oh, hey, finally! I'm using one of those hourglass style cups. You ever get one of those moments where you played the crap out of a game when you were a kid and then you realized as an adult that you didn't even know what you were doing at all? And that would have been easy enough to play the hard mode? That's what happens with this particular game. Oh! Except in instances like that. 
but that was my fault. I wasn't paying attention. Some would say that I, t that I was talking too much. <laughs> oh, BG. You know who you are. Now, I will make consistent references to people who I directly know on this show, as most of my viewers are people who I directly know. But still. in the sand. That should do it. Oh! Almost had a dinger, too. I can't believe that I used to have hundreds of viewers. I kept wishing for people's patience. And I must have pushed the crap out of their patience, too. Now I'm down to 7 subscribers. I think I may have had 21 two years ago. Yeah. I'm kind of like... One of the YouTube undead, if you will. Finally came back to life. My channel finally came back to life. It's taken a while, and I'm still a shy guy. A very shy guy, in terms of, you know, putting myself out. But you'll always find a heart to heart with me. Always. As soon as I play out my turn, I'm going to go get more of my drink and find my light bulb remote. Because these bright lights are driving me crazy and I want them ocean color right now. Yeah, okay. I made a nice little light bulb purchase on Amazon. Uh, if you want some decent products, 
look at my Amazon account. Screen name Super Nintendo SP, as per my old screen name. Which is why I decided to keep the screen name for my channel. Because maybe some people are like, oh, Super Nintendo SP is back in business. Which is true. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I don't have the webcam footage anymore, so you wouldn't be able to see my expressions. So that's why I'm trying to be a little bit more talkative. Neither method is easy. Oh, it's chilly as hell in here. Be right back. Just in time, huh? Beautiful. That's a goal! No, that was not added on. That was me. <laughs> 225... 220... <coughs> Excuse me. Make! Woohoohoo! It looked like it could have gone in too! It could be hard to tell with this game, but I've played for years, as I said. I can tell when it's getting close, even from a distance. Uh oh. If that had gone in, I'd have been one hack I would have been one happy dragon. I tell you. Dragon? I'm more like a wolf. Well it could be I could be either one. Mostly refer to myself as a wolf though, so actually it's either way. What in, what inner animal do you have? Can you tell me? Yeah, it depends upon the day. I like to think that inside I have a dragon. But I mostly act like a wolf. In all the different manners. I'm a family guy. When I'm hungry, I tend to get a bit snarly. <laughs> and I'm a really hairy guy, too. <laughs> As you saw in my recent update video, I think. Oh, Scotty P, what is the matter with you? That was an easy putt. I deserve to lose that five grand, I tell you. That was horrible.
I don't know whether Zach and I are going to continue Portal Nights because we've been playing that on the bus going to uh, to and from work, and it's become almost impossible to record. Mercenary Kings, we tried recording that, but well, I definitely need another Gubang 2 HD recorder. If you want to see more multiplayer madness, and you do happen to have a bunch of spare cash, could you please send me one, another one via Amazon? That would be amazing. Uh oh. That was close. I almost got in the got on the beach there. Be right back. I need something warmer. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah, that's a bath tatter. Ooh, no wind. Let's see if I can knock it in. Eighty. It's not going in. Oh! <laughs> That was awesome. Dang, I struck the pin. Pin shot. Uh, yeah, I've got to play Mario Golf on camera. The original, the one with these days ugly graphics, but good graphics for their time. It's okay graphics now, but it's they're nothing remarkable anymore. Mario Golf's graphics. Nice. 
unreachable in two for most players. I'm not most players. I am an Asperger's. Asperger's usually make for extraordinary players. Speaking of Asperger's, um, it's actually a pretty serious disability. It alters somebody's abilities, as well as ability to have a social life. It causes people to, it causes what affects people to. Nice shot, Uncle Ed. Um. It's really hard to say. The symptoms are very different per person. If you want to know what having Asperger's Syndrome is like, the good doctor is a very good example of that. He may have savant syndrome, but savant syndrome is in the very same high end Asperger's, I mean, in the very same high end autism spectral disorders group. What it does to me is. It's actually pretty hard to say these days. I used to not be very social at all. But now all I desire is for people to be over and have some fun. I'll put it this way. I'll use my kid self as a... as an example as to how far I've come. When I was a kid, I had absolutely no ability to emote. I could have said, I, do, I know not emotion, I know only logic. And I could have said that with a straight face, no emotions whatsoever. Yeah, I know, it's a Spock reference, but I could have said that and meant it seriously. Oops. Um. Hmm. Have you ever known a person who has an autra autism spectral disorder? Some of them are a lot more serious, like people who can't speak and arms flapping and all that that's your stereotypical autism person it's because well that's what regular autism is in my world there is no such thing as regular I work with a crew of fellow people of, of disability be it Asperger's syndrome, diabetes impairment with the eyes my crew there is there is varied as it gets personality and disability wise and we uh, and we work in a in a factory setting My Asperger's syndrome can make it hard for me to know when somebody is being sarcastic. That is what, that is when, it, that's when it rears its ugly head the worst. Could have been a lot worse.
could have been antisocial like I was when I was a kid. Thank God for early intervention and my mom and all that. It was just bad. Hey! Yoshi wins the hole! Alright! Watch the wind? Isn't that a given? When I was a kid, I didn't express myself very much. At all. All I was was a gamer. I didn't even identify myself as that. I thought it was normal. Well, now I know differently. It was not normal at the time. Video gaming was just getting going. But I can also thank video games big time for allowing me to have a social life. Without it, I would not have found the pool of friends that I have now. Zach, Max, Shannon, all of them. All of them are gamers. Well, Max likes to think he's a former gamer. But I know for a fact that later in life he'll be picking it up again. You see, once a gamer, always a gamer. It is a way of life. Yeah, Zach, who you consistently see in here playing on playing here in the game room on YouTube? Yeah. He has been my very best friend ever since Cub Scouts. If he hadn't come along, goodness knows whether either one of us would have snapped out of our shyness. A little overpowered! Ah. <laughs> yeah, I used to not laugh either when I was a kid. Not very much. Mild break uphill. This ought to do it. Whoopee! Awesome! Oh, wow! Well. Uncle Ed blowing that butt. Oh my glory. Would have been really nice if uh, if I had not play with this game. Come to think of it, I'm surprised that they don't have natural net play for some of these. I would think that Jack Nicholas Golf would actually be a really good game to have online. Some of these older games should get straight up ports with online capability. This is one of them. I mean, sure, it would take forever to render in today's technology, but... Why, would, why should anyone care? This is a really cool game to have for multiplayer. You know who I would love to meet in real life? Barry Leach. Soundtrack designer for Top Gear and Horizon Chase. 
I want I would love to personally thank him for all of those great years of gaming. And a lot of the friendships I made as a result of him. Which he doesn't know. I wonder how many people greet him and tell him that. Excuse me. Dead. Five at five o'clock, pitching wedge. That'll work. Excuse me. Bear blows a putt. Nailed it. All right, I took the lead. Yeah, okay, nobody's on the course. This futon that I got at Walmart, the fall leather futon, made by Mainstays, oh it's so comfortable, I feel like just bringing in my pillow and falling right onto it when I just, no it's just that comfortable, it's so nice.
Uh oh. Make the green, please. Thank you. It's going to be a bit of a long pop. No. Not as long as I thought. No, oh, I messed up the accuracy. It would have been in two. Between this Mario pajama outfit I have on right now and this futon, I'm so comfortable. I would not want to get up. Oh crap. I just blew my power pot. What is the matter with me? Everything, maybe? I don't know. I really don't know. Everything? My icebreakers? Uh. Dang! So what if I hit my second shot too far? Knowing the distance of the hole, I'd be able to make the green. Right now I kind of wish I could have played with just a Joy-Con. Could have been worse. Yes, I still have a pulse. Bye. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm a bit sleepy right now. Really comfortable. Vigils are overlapped by blue. Just lots of blue. It's nice. It's really nice. This should do the trick. 
No! Could have been worse. Could have been much worse. Hopefully that tree didn't render right in front of me. Hey. Good break. Good deal. Oh, sit. I thought that in Tiger was PGA Tour 2005. The two Davids were pretty darn funny. Verity and McCord. They were really, really funny in 2005. Oh my glory. I was hoping that the humor would continue, but of course not. I mean, Tiger Woods continued at, at least some humor in 06, back when he was a good guy. Ugh. I'm of the belief they can still be a hero. But we have yet to see. Last I knew he shot okay. Oh man, Jack. Jeez. That was bad. <laughs> Pardon the noise in the microphone. Just had to open the zipper a little bit. Whoops. No, 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 no. Sit, 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 sit. Long putt. Here we go. 
65 feet. Holy mackerel. Oh no! Oh! And I got the accuracy right out of him. Fine! You've got to be kidding me! That was a close shot. Uncle Ed blew the shot and let the stooge win. Ay, ay, ay. I'm trying to make sure this is all one take. Considering how tired I feel right now, it's becoming pretty hard. Isn't that a misrendered pen or what? Wow. Oh. Well, well, well. I'm the only one that's able to properly see the pen. Sand wedge 80, pitching wedge 110, right iron. Yeah, like right iron. Accuracy not good. guy got robbed. Oh, what? Oh, I forgot to pay attention to the break. Oh my goodness. I 
hate to say it, guys, but I'm going to have to turn in for the night. I'll see if I'll tie together these two episodes into one. See you in the morning. Seven yards. There's no way I'd be able to tee off with a wait. Whoo! If I were to drive as long as I wanted, I'd be in the drink. I'm better off heading a three wood. Just to give you a heads up, on this particular course, Curly got stuck in front of water. For some reason, the AI is programmed not to take advantage of the re-rendering capability of this game. Or maybe it's that the computer has not been programmed to take advantage of it, either. It certainly looked like it was on, didn't it? Even in spite of my mistake, I got par. I should have used sandwich. I'm not surprised I made a mistake. I'm not a morning guy, but for once, I actually got up in the morning in a very good mood. It's like, yay, let's play. In sunshine in the room. Sure, most of it is blocked out for the sake of saving the eyes, but hey. It's natural light in this room. I the only light I have on right now is my neon clock. It's not lighting up the room at all. It's the sun itself. How unusual and how beautiful. I have it lit up just like the old sunroom that I used to have lit up. Not so much, but plenty. If I sound plugged up, it's because I am. My allergy medicine needs to kick in. I 
I'm normally not talking of at all first thing in the morning either. Dang. That was a good shot by Uncle Glenn. <laughs> what was the golden bear thinking? If he had done it right in the first place, he wouldn't have had to overpower it. And he'd be in the running. Is that supposed to be some form of mercy? I'm starting to get really good at remembering what the distances are just by nature itself. Stopped it! Lucky. You wanna hear something weird? When a player's on the course, I've always thought that the hair was a hat. Yeah. It's like, what the heck? And then when the player was putting, it looked like an eraser head. Excuse me. Like, what the freak? <gasps> I blew it. No, I could have won the hole for shame. Dang it. Now the money carries over. As much as I want to call shenanigans right now, that's that's not a good idea. <laughs> because that was not shenanigans. That was my fault. I was given an easy pot, and I blew it. See what I mean? Without really good shading, it looked like they had a hat, right? Up until it's Jack Nicholas that is actually playing. And then you realize, no, that's not a hat. But if you look at my guy, it just doesn't look the same. It doesn't look like hair. It looks like somebody who's wearing like, one, like a pink dunce hat or something like that. 
like an eraser something like that I know you probably won't ever see the graphics the same as the result but it's still something funny Wow! Hole in one! Unbelievable! I caught it on camera! The kind of shot that I used to make when I was a kid. Woo baby! Hole in one! That feels good! Wow! So, a little golf course that I used to go to around here, which is over by a chiropractic college. It's basically your nine hole par three, with the exception of one hole, which is a par four. Nice little course. Nothing too hard, unlike my favorite local course, which isn't all that difficult compared to what I've seen. I mean, I do want to play courses like St. Andrews and, you know, and Pebble Beach, maybe even TPC of Sawgrass.
Oops. Well, first thing in the morning mishaps, right? Okay. Who's better? Dang, I mean, dang. I still can't get over that hole in one. It's been over 10 years since I pulled off a hole in one, and that was in the rookie mode where I didn't even have to think about what club I selected. That is awesome. My first hole in one ever on the expert mode. I mean, even if I lose, I win. <laughs> I can't believe that hole in one. I remember the last time I played this hole. Yep. I went all the way over here. My max power, Kersploosh. Let me double check the overhead view here. Oh wait, wrong hole. It has a deja vu layout though, doesn't it? Oh wait, I hit... Did somebody hit the cart path? Oh! Shoot! Z I remember playing this hole with Zack. Did I seriously select the same golf course? Oh well. Woo, fairway. That flag pull icon to the left was amazingly incorrect. Why would you go driver on that fairway? Huh? Well. Alright. Part of my clogged up status. Ugh. I mean, I recorded. I started recording just as soon as I could, which was no more than ten minutes after I got up. <laughs> uh, I do not regret what I did. I'm glad. <laughs> Are you drunk? <laughs> that laugh is just like my father's. My dad, who I'm really hoping. Let's just say his name is Jeff. He was a big time gamer back when we had a close relationship. Yeah, he passed down his Super Nintendo, his PlayStation, and other things to me. Oh man, the first game that I played when he handed down his PlayStation 2, not PlayStation 2, his PlayStation, was Crash Bandicoot 2. 
Cortex Strikes Back. Oh, that game was and still is fabulous. And I am definitely looking forward to the Insane Trilogy on the Switch. I'll probably be disappointed by the original Crash, but what the heck. I mean, I played the sequel. It's two sequels. Played the crap out of them. Especially Crash Bandicoot 2. Five at three o'clock, huh? Eighty three yards? Gotta overpower it just a little bit. Oh boy! No 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 hit the green, please. Stay on the green. Yay. <laughs> oh no, I got the correct distance. <laughs> oh, if my accuracy was right, I'd have had it. <laughs> Oh, you gotta love it, right? You gotta love it when the numbers just absolutely perfectly come into play. You've gotta laugh when those numbers come perfectly into play and your accuracy is wrong. Excuse me. I tell you, anybody who rage quits a game is silly. I mean, it's one thing if, uh, you know, it's said to the viewer that I'm really, really angry right now, and it's probably best that I not be recording, or something like that. That's very respectful. That is not a rage quit. That is keeping your sanity in check. I win the game, too! Well, that is my first skins game win ever. In expert mode. Anyway, this is Scott for Super Nintendo SP's Game Room. It's been years since I've played this game properly. And... Subscribe for more retro content like this for games like Stared and Binary War Binary Stars. I continue to get that wrong. <laughs> and uh, you know, Portal Knights, Minecraft. Old school video games. Plenty of old school video games to come after my excitement about Stared and Minecraft and things. I mean, I just got the NES game Golf. The Game Boy Advance game Mega Man and Bates. Desert Strike for Sega Genesis? Anyway, I'll see you guys later.